Well, hey there. Well, today, as I shared earlier, transplanting this tree. I want to make sure it's got plenty of water as I'm transplanting it. That's a good sized tree. Don't you think so, Jason? Oh, absolutely. The root ball kind of fell apart as I was taking it up. We saved a lot of dirt on top of it, you can see that. But, yeah, get this hole filled up with water. Anyways, as you can see, this is a good sized tree that I'm transplanting today. Transplanting it out here by this apple tree uh, as a companion uh, planting. And add more dirt to it while it's filling up, actually. Give me that uh, tree tone there, Jason. Another thing I'm going to do is, is make sure it's got plenty enough to cause it to survive. A little bit. This is a weak type uh, of uh, organic um, fertilizer. It's a 6-3-2. So, it's not a real, real heavy nitrogen but it's enough to give it a little bit of food and not burn the tree up. Trees love to have nitrogen. I'm thinking. Let that recede down a little bit, it'll pack itself down and put a little bit more rooting hormone down into the hole around the roots. The tree is kind of leaning a little bit, but we'll take care of that whenever I get ready to seed it in there. And for now, I'll take this shovel. While I'm waiting for that water to recede. Get this dirt chopped up a little bit. Good sized tree. You know, I transplanted one bigger than that. That sunflower over there was bigger than that. The root ball on that sunflower was three foot. Wow. Yeah. Used the tractor to do it. <laughs> Anyways, it's a job. A lot of people are like, it's the wrong time to be uh, doing uh, transplanting trees. Uh, all you got to do is take care of them. And right here, I have a little bit of root exposed. I'm going to put the rooting hormone directly on the root itself. Look like I got more root on this side of the tree than I did on the other side of the tree.
you got to keep chunking away at this dirt and it's clogged up. That ground is extremely dry and that's the reason why that fell apart. I had to add water to it to give it the ability to hold itself together, but it was just too dry. But I think we'll be fine. What do you think, young man? Oh, I, I believe so. Good job trying to get rid of all these big dirt clods that I can. Get that in there. I think that'd be fine. Woo boy! That pretty much level with the ground, wasn't it? Sure was. done it before. Yeah. You know, one thing I will tell you, a lot of people, you know, root depth on these pawpaws is overrated. After they get so big, you have lateral roots come out, and that's where that pawpaw is grabbing nutrients. It's not going to grab nutrients uh, way down deep. They put out a tap root to get started, but once that lateral rooting system starts going out, that tap root is nowhere near as important as people like to think they are. This right here, by the way, was a root sucker, and it is now a grafted variety. And lo and behold, we pretty much got it facing the same direction that it was facing down there, this side being the east. It's almost right where it was. Normally, I'd I put a marker on there to figure it out, but I didn't do that. But this tag right here tells me that tree, that tag was on the north side of that tree, and it's kind of northwest. Always tried to plant them back in place in the same direction, and I didn't think to do that, but we're close enough that we ain't got to worry about that. Anyways, get some more water on there. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, Subscribe. This time we're going to do the shower. And just water the garf out of it. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.